My name is Frank Hayes and I'm an artist and I'm also the creative director of For Enjoyment and at For Enjoyment we do lots of exciting art workshops based around printing, photography, drawing and painting. So a little bit about what I do. I My main job is to get as many people as possible to be creative, which is a really good job and to enjoy creating art and to enjoy the creative process as well. So creating art is really good for you. Um, it's really good fun. It should be good fun. If it's not fun, you're not doing it properly. And also when you're creating art, other people enjoy it as well. And they'll especially enjoy seeing what you create. Um, so my favorite kind of art to create is based around natural history and nature and we're in a very beautiful part of the world to live if you like scottish wildlife and nature and landscapes and in my work i very much like to focus on that and that's my passion wildlife and uh, especially scottish wildlife so hopefully you'll enjoy looking at some of my pieces of artwork and hopefully you'll enjoy creating your own pieces of artwork. Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial. And for this tutorial, we're going to focus on Zentangles. Really great fun way to be creative. And you don't need to know how to draw. Um, so if you're worried about getting things right when you're drawing, don't worry about that. And really what these are about are a really good way of being creative and being able to chill out and relax and have a nice meditative time while you're drawing and creating some artwork. So on materials, we want some nice big paper as large as you want or as small as you want. We want markers, different types of markers, lots of different thicknesses of markers. We want a ruler and we also want a pencil. And the main things that we need are things to draw around. Anything that you've got in the house you can use. Cereal bowls, coasters, masking tape, lots of different things that you can use to draw around. So that's your materials list. So what we're going to do is focus on Zentangles. Zentangles are invented by a really lovely couple called Rick Roberts and Maria Thomas. Rick Roberts was a monk and Maria was a artist. And what they wanted to do was come up with a really chilled out, creative method um, to create artwork where you could not worry and just relax and take your time and create some beautiful patterns and images while you had a nice creative time basically. So it's very easy to learn. It's a relaxing and fun way um, to create beautiful images by drawing patterns, basically. I mean, that's really what we're going to focus on is just drawing patterns. It's very easy. It's quite addictive once you get started. Um, all we need to do to start with is start with a structure. So we start with some big shapes like these. We draw around things in pencil. So we use pencil to draw around things. And if you want, you could always have a feature in the middle. You could draw a little fish shape um, or a flower or a bird or something like that. But it would only really be the outline of that creature or animal or flower or whatever you want to put in. 
So what I'll do is I'll show you how we get going with the patterns. So here's a scary blank sheet of white. And all I've done with these, I'm not sure if you can see the pencil lines that well, but all I'm going to do for that big circle is draw around the cereal bowl. So we've got a nice thick pencil line around there, like so. And we'll just do this one here. Nice thick line. Always good to do it in pencil first, because if there's anything that you want to change or it's not in the right place, then you can rub it out and change it. I've got the mat here. And this is, this is how I created the first drawing that you saw. So I literally just draw, drew around these objects, masking tape. Great thing about drawing around objects is you get all your lines nice and straight. You don't have to worry about drawing them by hand. There we go. Circle here. And once you've kind of started to get all of your structure in, then you can start to talk about what patterns you want to try and put in, um, what shapes. Some people like to do organic shapes which are a bit like plants and things like that. Some people like to do really geometric shapes, which is quite hard lines, squares, triangles, that kind of thing. You could do a mixture of both. Thick and thin lines are really good. It makes your drawing a bit more interesting if you've got thick and thin lines. So basically that's how we put the structure down. That's how we build it up. And then from that, we then take our marker and we start to build up. We start to put more and more shapes and lines in. I would do them all in pencil first. Then you can just draw around in Sharpie. Um, so, what I like to do when I invent new shapes new patterns, um, is I'll have a little uh, pad where I, if I invent anything that's new, I will draw it into the little pad and I've got a record of it then. And you end up with sort of a, a drawn alphabet of shapes and patterns that you quite like to use. This is the fun bit. So this bit, you need to concentrate a little bit. You need to make sure that you're getting everything sitting where you want it to sit. Once you've done that, then you start to draw things out when you've marked them out in pencil. That's when you can really kick back, you can really relax. You can get some music on. You could just have peace and quiet while you're drawing. You could have a podcast on. The whole idea of this is it's more about relaxing than it is about drawing. There's no pressure to get anything right. There's no right and wrong way to do this. You can really just let yourself go, create some really unique pieces of artwork. You can work really small. You can work really big. You can work in very fine pen. If you want to do some really small ones, So then you get onto this, which is exactly the same as the first two, but there's just been more time spent on this one. Um, I think this one has taken about an hour and 20 minutes so far to get this far. You know, if you've got the option of using thicker pens, you can fill the spaces in quite quickly, like so. And you can just finish up your details with some finer and thinner pens. So it's easy, super simple. And slightly distracting in a good way. 
Also don't forget the thick lines and thin lines. So I've got a thinner pen here where I can go in and put in some more detailed lines. And this makes your composition really lovely when you've got some thicker and thinner lines at the same time. When you've finished your drawing, you can rub out all of your pencil lines. Okay. So, I really hope you have fun with it. If you get a little bit stuck to start with and you're struggling to think of ideas, look at the handouts, the stills from the video. You can copy different things other people have created. Loads of different ways of doing them. You can use lots of black. You could just have lots of white space. So it's a fun exercise. So do make sure that you're having fun while you're doing it. And I can't wait to see what you create.